Margie and Scott Balow knew they had a problem when they noticed their three-year-old son, Brad, wasn't growing compared to their other children. He wasn't progressing with his, his growth, you know. Um, in children that age, I remember from my daughters, you know, they're outgrowing their clothes quickly and shoes and things, and it just, it wasn't happening. A lot of people would say how, how cute he is, and oh, is he tiny? And, and at first, you, you take that with a grain of salt, thinking, oh, he's, he's cute. But, but after a little while, and you see the other kids growing and start developing more, and he's still that little cute boy, you start wondering if there is something wrong. Initially, Margie and Scott figured that Brad would eventually grow on his own. But as time went by and Brad didn't grow, they looked for some help from a pediatric specialist. We do a, an entire evaluation to try to find the cause of growth problems. Uh, most often, I'm looking for an endocrine problem, such as thyroid disease or, um, or growth hormone deficiency. Hi. Brad was tested, and to the Balo's surprise, he was diagnosed with growth hormone deficiency. I never heard the term. I, I didn't really understand it. Um, I learned a lot through the tests that they were doing on Brad about pituitary glands and, and uh, what's going on inside your brain that creates these hormones and, and how they work. And um, Before this, I've, I've never known anything about any kind of disease like that. Growth hormone is a chemical produced by the pituitary gland, a dime-sized gland located in the base of the brain between the eyes. This chemical is produced throughout our lives. In children, this helps them grow. In adults, it helps keep the body healthy. Once it has been determined that a child is growth hormone deficient, he may be placed on synthetic growth hormone therapy to replace what's missing. There are different medications that contain synthetic growth hormone. For the Balos, their pediatric specialist suggested a drug treatment that is injected a couple of times per month. We were initially instructed, a nurse came out to instruct us on doing it. It seems like everyone is kind of getting somewhat used to the fact that we, we need to do this. It just takes time to get used to it. The fact that you have to give, you know, someone, you know, one of your children a shot is just kind of a, a strange thing. It's been 10 months since Brad started his treatment, and he's showing progress. He's grown a good, uh, a good 2.1 centimeters. Good That's job. very good in the last three months. This is a good sign that the medication is working. Nothing makes a child feel better about being short than growing. Um, and nothing, of course, makes the parent feel better than seeing the child grow. I just hope the medication continues to, to work and help him grow and that there's no um, obstacle to that so that he can achieve, you know, his full potential.